Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 13 in my scripting series. It's going to be a very quick video just to finish off the if statements part of the series that we've been doing so far. We're going to be looking at relational operators. So when you are writing an if statement and you're writing your condition, you don't always have to use the equal to. Now remember, equal to always has to be uh, double equals when you are checking in an if statement just got to remember that but also there are loads of other um, operators that you can use to check things so let's just get our condition in here so obviously we've got our if my number is equal to 50 then it's going to run the if statement but you can also do lots of other things and I'm just going to go through them here so we've got greater than so you can have a greater than symbol here uh, and that will check if your number is greater than another number you've also got less than here you've got greater than or equal to and you've got less than or equal to you've got not equal to so if basically any number that is not equal to 50 would make this this statement run so you've got your not equals which looks like this for me to write this sign I do shift and press the hashtag key by enter or return and also the equal sign I'll leave them all in the description though so you can copy them into your scripts uh, we've also got uh, we, we've had the greater than or equal to and the less than or equal to um, and uh, the equals as well that is the main one that you'll use all the time but They've got loads of use cases. You don't have to do it with numbers either. You could have a string and you could check to see if, let's just call it my string up here. If my string is equal to hey, then it will run the if statement. You can't use the greater than or less than uh, operators on a string though as it's text you can only use those on numbers but you can use the not equal to one there as well so anything that is not equal to hey will make the if statement run here obviously it didn't run in this case because we didn't change our string if I was to change it to buy it would work so there we go just uh, for you to know and note down there are all your relational operators that you can use so make sure to subscribe to my channel you can click the Alvin Blocks logo in the middle of your screen if you enjoy the content I've got loads more Roblox scripting tutorials and also game creation tutorials uh, make sure to like the video as well so I know you like them and I'll see you in the next one.